and Australia are in the final. The match has been tied. What a mix-up. For me, Bob Beeman was probably one of the best ever examples we see in sport of the peak performance. At the Olympic Games, I walked in with the attitude, just bring home the gold, Bob. Beeman was the new kid on the block. Um, he was a raw talent, and nobody really knew what he was going to do. I could get head onto the long jump pit by just moving around in the seats, and then I gate crashed the front row. I ran down that runway like I invented this event. He runs at great speed. He reaches a speed of about 10.7 meters per second. As he approaches the board, the last few strides slows down a little bit, but not very much. He hits the board with a force about three times his body weight that he controls, and then he drives upwards with the supporting leg. And at the same time, brings the other leg upwards and forwards, lifting him up and away from the board. Somebody said he defies gravity. I use this way of jumping by hanging in the air with my legs straight out, like I'm sitting in midair. As I went click, I could see the whites of his eyes staring. Almost looked like he was in shock. The electronic measuring device could only measure up to 28 feet. They had to go find manual tape to measure this distance. My teammate, he came back to me and said, Bob, you just jumped 29 feet, two and a half inches. I had broken the Olympic record by three feet and broke the world record almost by two feet. Someone to actually take a world record on by that amount is, is equivalent to, you know, dropping the 100 metres by a second. You know, you'd have actually had the 100 metres person finishing the race 10 metres before the rest of the field. It's probably a little bit beyond the human experience. It's akin to stories of mothers lifting, you know, cars off children. The Beeman picture turned my life around totally. It made me realise that I could maybe earn a living out of this. I took a chance and formed a company called All Sport, which subsequently became the largest sports photo agency in, in the world. I just pressed the button and, you know, wing and a prayer. That's where the luck comes in. You know? Luck of the Irish, I think. <laughs>